Hello guys, it's, it's party time. Well, it's party time is a new video. Uh, I'm gonna make a different uh, thing from now on in some of the games. When there is very boring part, I will skip. I will skip that part. And for example, in this video, the Dark Age and Early Feudal, I will just remove it. And I will go directly into the action. So guys, you don't have to miss anything. Watch completely. Remember, if you want to see the full series, below the description. Because we continue. This is the World Cup. Yes, the World Cup and thumb up if you enjoy, okay? We love this game and remember, try to watch it completely because I just avoid what is useless already. Stay tuned for more and if you don't want to spoil, full link under the description. Stay tuned. Red is on the way to castle, it's the quickest. Whoa! It's going aggro, man! It's going aggressive siege and not booming. I like it. I like it. It's gonna go. And now this TC is in danger. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But blue can see it. Yeah, it's going back. And the farmers are here. So now blue will be in some troubles. Because he's not close to go up and the Kells is coming with Siege. And honestly, I really think is the way to go. Is a good strategy. I like it. I really like it. He's doing a barrack. That surprised me. That he's doing a barrack. Why he need a barrack uh, now? I don't know. But going to Spears is good in case that the other is coming with the scouts. So he can prevent some snipe that you don't expect, you know? Yeah, but the Kumas is not it's not close to go up yet. Not very close. He's actually really far to click up. And this is a really fast transition. But guys, if green is oh my god! If he's going eagles, red will be destroyed. Red will be destroyed. He's doing a ram, but green is coming with eagles. Okay? Few eagles, man, will help him big time. Okay, it's true that it's only one barrack. Oh my god, this is a ram. This is a ram. Now he's gonna make a mangonel. He's going very, very aggressive. Monos is good in these kind of situations. It is good, man. This mining camp is now in danger. Palisade is gonna go in, but what? Ah, okay. To avoid the Arabis, I understand. He wants to go skirmishes, so makes sense. Now he's coming. Ram Mangonel, okay, and Blue losing a valley, but he's on the way to Castleage. He's mining a lot of stock. Like you said, guys, need to go super quick. The Eagles can help. A lot. If he's playing properly and coming from behind, the Eagles can help a lot. It's true that these Eagle scouts that won't help a lot to uh, against Alamis for sure. But if he's killing the siege, he's huge. It's really huge. Oh my god, he's going all in. I think he should delete that house, but hey, that's me. Or delete the walls. Delete that house. Man. It's not the old eagles. Sticking the scout. Ah, those eagles are weak, man. They don't have any upgrade. Any upgrade, man. But guys, blue has the stone he need. Now the Arabis are coming. The Arabis are coming. They are going fully aggressive, man. Archers. Archers. I was expecting skirmishers. Full skirmishes to deal with the Arabis. Okay. Well, they know better. But Argentina is doing a fantastic aggressive game. A really, really aggressive game. Obviously, Halis is still ahead in Villains, didn't lose too much. And he will make the castle in this area, I believe. Or delete here farmers are making this area. Where do you think is better? Yeah, man. In this area, right? Yes! 
Memstradamus! With all the villiers, man! With all the damn villiers! Send all the villiers there, that, that's the castle he need. He's wanted, but now those Lambriacs are in danger. So many villiers, the eagles need to be sent it. This is really nice, now coming with the crossbows. Need to micro, let's see if he's gonna micro. The castle is going to be up. Those are, those Kipchak will dominate, but guys, Resources for blue. Need to make fletching, man. He's doing the fletching. Oof, 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 man. The fletching is gonna be there. Fletching. And now he's slinging. And with those Sanabais, he's doing Botkin Arrow. Botkin Arrow is fantastic in this situation. But don't lose Vilnius, man. I don't know if, if Recon is gonna send full slink. If he's sending full slink, might be good choice. Absolutely a good choice. I really like how United Kingdom is playing this. I really like it. A lot. You know, super aggressive also, uh, the Kelt. But it's a really fun game. In the mill. Okay. And now the keep tag. No, no, no. Now you need something else. It's not an old keep tag. Honestly, I think he needs some siege. Or ballistic. Ballistic with those keep tags. Those villains are in danger. I am on blue point of view. He's coming with the Arambais. He need to move those. Yes. And now, go to the goal, man. You are not mining goal, amigo. Well, he's mining this one. And a Siege War sub. Straight in my mind. He's trying to micro. But you need a sick micro to dominate. Make a house, or they will go through that area. Yeah, they are doing army. Villiers difference still ahead for United Kingdom, man. Playing solid. Green has ballistic. I don't think he has. But now, ooh, he's doing now the bot killer. Has to be careful. And killing a villain and the spear. Those eagles. Nice. Okay. Still only one on center, three on foot. So he's going full keep the guys. Full keep check. And those are really fast. But guys, no bloodlines, remember. The bloodlines is needed. You need the Abris. The Mangonel is coming. The Mangonel. Ay, ay, ay. No, no, no. He's going for the Scorpius. No. He didn't kill it. But now. But now he's going to kill all the Scorpius. Oh, my God. Disaster. But a boom. Open formation there. And split the unit. Sorry. Oh, another Mangonel down. One for one in that one, but guys, this is great play here by United Kingdom. Kill it, absolutely everything. Yes, now they should kill all. They should kill all. Economy is similar. Again, split those units, but bloodlines, guys. Bloodlines. Kipchas are missing unit are missing, but guys, the Arabites are not doing any damage anymore. Oh boy, split again and. He got clean everything. There's one, one thing that is true. Blue, usually, in these situations, will be... What? Kill, man. Blue, Kumans, in these situations, will be really ahead. Now, the good thing is that they don't have economy. As you can see, no economy advantage. And more and more Arambais. Taking the relics. Second castle. The Arambais... Can really do the job at some point, but not now. And he's doing another TC. One, two, three, four, five tone centers. Ah! Five tone centers that kills. Five TCs with so many Arabites. Very interesting game. Bloodlines. Gold South Mining for green. The Aztecs is with 66 villages. But guys, look. Argentinian booms. Now is insane. Really, really good. Now those Arambais will dominate. The Kipchats will need to go back. Let's go and check. Let's go and check. Siege War Shop is gonna kill some Valir. Okay, be careful. The other, the other teams in this group are Spain. Spain, ooh, the Arambais, man, the Arambais, amigo. Spain and China B. That is the series we are going to see after this one, which is great. So, 
the winner the winner of this series will face the loser of the next series okay the winner of this series will face the loser of the next series the next weekend which it's looking a really nice one to watch for sure remember that spain already won to argentina last weekend so let's see what spain is gonna do against china b team ncl being say that we got los aztecas the aztecs on the way to imperial and those are going to be arbalest yes because the arbalest might deal properly against the arabites green plane fantastic now has to be careful go back a little because those arabites can take the archers that range ooh, so many archers wow okay guys this imperial time is fantastic and uh, let's see not a castle here but i would like a castle in this area well it's true that he's protecting here many resources protecting the farmers the goal i really like guys how green is played with the aztecs i don't know what you think but i think he's playing fantastic but guys i'm telling you something now the kelds it's fully boom guys check the villains numbers the kelds has got 106 villains man the boom the boom by monos is a, a, a boom a real boom crazy boom from monos with the kells now siege owners incoming man just siege owners how you kill those i don't know i'm going to be on red point of view 51 farmers a lot of keep chats he has to be careful no 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 he is still without the bloodlines i not sure if he has why he's not walling you need to wall but the kells it's it should dominate now depend how Monos is going to play the score by Monos is super low but doesn't matter that's because he has no army at all but with 115 values he should dominate and also with siege he can destroy army from from the aztecs so maybe the aztecs should go a few monks as well arbales plus three Trebuchet, now bloodlines from blue. The game is really, really interesting. Yeah, Amanda Burmese is on the way to Imperial as well. With a lot of Arabais coming. He's going to the left, but he's giving time blue to recover. And population from blue is, is growing and growing. 93 villages already. Holy and moly. Okay, Monos score is starting to grow more and more but i insist the onagers are going to come onagers so if blue now has some good micro oh boy let's see a lot of villages are there he's gonna be able to lose how many one village down to the open they get in oof if he's getting in he kill all his echo man monos wake up amigo wake up or are you gonna titanic the Arabites are coming, the Arabites are coming. Let's see the micro, 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 micro. Ooh, Arabites, amigo. Now need to be careful. Okay, look at that micro. Those, those Kipchas are so fast. And with the Arabites, the timing is so important. The score is still similar for both teams. And blue need to go to Imperial Age. Yes, the score is still switching. How is about blue? Blue resources are looking really great. Two trebuches is gonna take the castle now, but the only <laughs> well, he killed one. <laughs> he killed one Arbales when the kitchen were there. Well, you have to prioritize, guys. Prioritize, but green should do monks. I don't know what you think, but monks in this situation should be great to convert the onagers. But guys, keep chance. Keep just guys. Fully braided? No. He's missing plus two. I don't know if he has the tambourine. Yellow. Elite Arabites. And guys, this is the dangerous situation now. Owners are coming. Owners and Arabites. He need to make the castle. If he's doing the castle, it's huge. But now the castle is going to go down. 
He don't have resources. Whoa! No stone and the castle is down. That's really bad. The units are coming. Ay, yeah, yeah. Look at those Arabes as well. They split those units because if he's gonna make a baba boom, it's gonna be a disaster. They are the kids just need to take those owners. But guys, those Arabes are so so strong. The problem is FedEx only one castle now. And the kids are coming. See Jonagers! But guys, United Kingdom is still playing. So great. Open formation. Taking absolutely everything. So, man. Crazy stuff. Now he paid the stone and the castle is up. The score is almost the same. And here, please, wall. Wow. Guys, we're going to see now probably Hazard. The siege owners are there, but Havardiers can come anytime. Anytime. Hip chap still doing. Missing a lot of upgrades. No, no! Ba -ba -boom! All the Kipchats in the hell! I was afraid that that happened. And now the micro by blue was disaster. And all the Kipchat gone just when he reached Imperial. Jesus, what a bad micro there by blue. Seriously, crazy stuff. And now coming a guy with so many Kipchats as well. Arabais is still there. They will need something to counter the owners. How? With the monks. The monks are coming. The monks are coming. Where is MBA when you need him? The monks are here. And now he's going to compare those owners. Let's see. Let's see if he's going to make it. He got the upgrade. Yes. Let's go. He's going to convert those owners. He convert one, two owners. Oh my god. He's going to lose some. But now, now also owner is shot here. On the Arabites, but guys, now the Celts are so dangerous. Remember one thing really important. The Aztecs also got siege honors, but they never do it. They never use siege honors with the Aztecs. And they are very good against this army they have. That castle is important as well. The score is still so close. Whoa! They are so fast to micro. Super fast to micro, but don't send it there. I still think that Hazards should do the job here. Now he's repairing the castle. And now we will see. If he convert Onegas, man, converting the Onegas is crucial. It's amazing. He convert Onegas now. If he can kill more siege as well. But what is the fucking shot? The shots are really bad by them. While Argentina is still coming back with the Onegas and Arambais. Let's go, baby. I really like this game. I really like this Imperial battle and this army composition. Hopefully you do as well. So you see guys, we are not negative. We are realistic. If a game is enjoyable, we say it. If the game is trash, we say as well. But now this is about the engagement here. Oh my! Well Baba Booba guy! Holy moly! Those on a shot taking all the units! What are you doing? Blue! Losing everything! Are you for real? Are you really for real? You gotta be kidding me. And they are still in the game after those shots. Which is incredible. They will need trade. They are already trading? No. They need to build more buildings here. Those owners are with the siege engineer. The monks should just dominate. We will see the score is still ahead for United Kingdom. But are they really ahead? Love it how yellow is now trading. The list is too many, if you ask me. Too many villains from Bonos. Too many, 152 villains over boom, 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 over boom, 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 boom. And now a guy, oh my god, the owner shot, he's so scary. Now I need to kill the pikes. Aztecs, he's with huge amount of army. Halis need much more military. And I insist, Hazards, I mean, they are going to have pikes, but the Hazards from, yeah, there you go. From Kumas are fast, are really strong, and you can snipe anyway. I insist. Here, the only the key or or the the, the 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 possibility for green and blue to take this game is the monks. The monks, they are walling here. Oh my god. Remember, oof. Do they have all the upgrades? Yes. Remember that this is skirmishers from the Aztecs got plus nine range. Crazy amount of Arabais. The Arabais gonna dominate? I don't think the Arabais dominate anymore in the late game. What is dominate? Oof, another Onegas shot. 
And blue, it's killing all the trade now and killing so many villains is the good thing with the mobility. And then, when you are killing like this, the problem is those are elite keeps that are not fully upgraded. They are missing the plus six armor. And yeah, the speed they have is insane. Now, battle between Anabais and Kipchak. Where is the honors? The honors is still here. What? He killed himself! What happened here? I missed that, and I think he killed half of his honors himself. He shoot himself, or, 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 or I'm drunk. What the hell was those dead bodies? There was nothing. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Okay, but now all those are bye bye, but insist. They are pushing. And now, finally, Hal is coming with the light caps and soon Hazard. I love it, man. Love this one. Love this one. The score is still switching. Now they are trying to get into the economy. Problem with the Kells is their mobility. They never attack blue. I think they should have attacked blue somehow because he's completely unprotected. Those are light caps. Going back a little bit. And now, oof. Oof, they need to convert Ornagers. Look at the amount of Ornagers they have. They are going to make huge badaboos. Yeah, the Trebuchets are going to the hell. Those Khazars can't come, but man... <laughs> well, look at the Ornagers. The Ornagers are doing a massive job. But the castle is fantastic position. And now Khazars coming from behind like perverts. And the monks is going to convert Ornagers or not? Convert the Ornagers, man. Whoa. Oh, man. He made heresy! He made heresy! The Kells got the heresy already! I think he got heresy! He's trying to convert and not a single unit appear! So Red got heresy already! The monks are not that effective anymore! Yes! On the right side, they need to delete the walls! This is the flaring! Delete the walls! But guys, is Red going to come here to push? Nah, he got just one on her! Guys, I only think that Aztec's green player is playing insanely good. So damn good. So damn good. And yellow, I think it's a little bit stubborn. He doesn't need the Arabites anymore, in my opinion. The Arabites now are so weak, and now United Kingdom are taking the game. A really nice victory here against this civilization. What he could do here? Well, he could go champions, and you might say, well, but he got Armalus, he got Siege Honor, he got Kipchat, he got Siege Honor, or he could go Hazards on his own, I don't know, but something else. At the end, the Arabites didn't do the job, and against those crazy Aztec skirmishes, they lose everything. Even the Hazards now are doing an amazing and massive damage. Guys, this is the 2-0. Great, great game to watch. With a lot of stage during the during the game, they did really great attack here, but now in late game, they are in another level. And green is in a total domination. Killing absolutely everything. Pikes, Arbales, Skirmishers, and Siege Rams. The Siege, it's now dominating. And here we are. Those elite keeps us still missing the plus six. I don't even know if they have the Thumbrain, but they are not fully upgraded. They're still coming with more Arabites. Elite Arabites and Khazars, okay. But yellow population is already bye-bye. 50 villages, 47 army. Great stuff, nice game. Taking all the trade, we'll kill those, but the trade is almost gone already. And the domination by this surprising United Kingdom, not because they couldn't play good because they are playing extremely good in my opinion in this series i don't know what you think guys but really well played here by uk fantastic i would say yeah yeah Felix is bye bye yeah i really believe that in late game the the, the burmese lose all the power you know i mean not the burmese those arabites against these kind of units you really need an incredible micro and those look at those skirmishes guys it's nine range i'm going to green point of view fog of war just look at the range they have yeah he has some good army because he's getting some slink and now with those anabites and Casars, maybe he can do something he's trying i mean i like that argentina is trying at the maximum but this is impossible now the population from yellow is down to 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 nothing 17 villains he's not even rebuilding 
He's not even rebuilding. It's completely over. They are trying to get this battle. But 17 buildings, 56 army, man. 36 army, amigos. Total destruction. And Argentina B is 2-0 behind. Like you can see there, but because they are calling the GG, guys. GG call 2-0, guys. 2-0. Amazing. Amazing. Hopefully, guys, you have enjoyed with this one. I did a lot. I really did a lot. I mean, the start is always slow. Very slow in arena. But with some specific strategies, civilizations, how they played this one attacking the Kumans, it was very nice. And Green played fantastic because remember that he was doing archers, few eagles, also booming at the same time. 73 largest army economy monos got the best economy here and uh fed is even the goal but the military and uh, how green hole being 31 minutes in imperial and in the timeline just look how in castle age green saved the game he got a lot of army during castle age and even like that he did 31 minute in imp so was great game number three